Hello there guys, uh, Alan here. Uh, just thought I'd make a quick video. Of, um, I've just popped out into one of our woods on the farm today to uh, chop some firewood. And um, I'd just like to uh, make a comment on a recent trip we did. I, um, I was invited to do uh, a walk in the Brecon Beacons by um, Sandy Wiltshire man and his friend Ant. And um, I jumped at the chance so we uh, set off. The plan was to do the, the walk on the Saturday, camp overnight and then do another walk on the, on the Sunday. But things um, made a, a drastic change when we got there. When we got there we met up with a, a great bunch of guys from um, a little uh, group called Camp Shaky. So we, um, we set off, uh, got to the top of um, Penny Fan, but the weather was ha absolutely horrendous. It was blowing 70 mile an hour winds and really heavy rain so uh, it was um, well it was a lot of fun we did enjoy it I think everybody enjoyed it but uh, it did spoil it because we had no views or anything like that basically you had to just get your head down and crack on and um, saying that about cracking on every single one of the guys in the group there was no whinging or moaning whatsoever so um, fair play to everybody for putting up them conditions and just getting on with it. Uh, there was one one time when uh, there's a chap called Mark, uh, he's got a channel on here called Barking Badger. We were coming down off the top of Penny Fan on a quite a steep slope in heavy winds and then, and then all of a sudden to my left hand side I saw Mark, he was basically doing a forward roll down the slope where the wind had took his legs from under him and um, he, he completely unfazed, he just got up, brushed himself down and carried on as if nothing was happening. So the, the spirit on the, of the whole group was, was fantastic and it was a pleasure to do the walk with them. And hopefully we shall do another one in, uh, in much better conditions. The other thing I'd like to say is um, I just received from Sandy Wiltshire Man and also Jack Law Knives, I've just received this. If I can get it off, my very own Jack Law made by Sandy and I must say it is absolutely out of this world, I'm over the moon with it. It's got a, the, as you all probably all know, the sheaf is totally handmade and sewn by Sandy and um, the, the craftsmanship is, is absolutely second to none so thank you very much for that Sandy. Uh, it's razor sharp. I haven't really used it in anger as, as yet, but uh, I will do because uh, I know when Sandy builds his knives, he, he wants the, the end user to um, to use them and not mollycoddle them. But um, it's an absolutely beautiful thing. Uh, see the logo there, the Jack Law logo, which he's, um, I think he now stamps them in now. I think he used to etch them, but I think he now stamps them in a bit. It's very prominent and sharp and it's absolutely cracking. Uh, the handle is Wenge, uh, it's got the lovely mosaic pins and uh, yeah I'm over the moon with it. So uh, thank you very much again for that Sandy, I shall put it to good use. So anyway I'll best crack on because I've got to cut some logs now, we've got a lot of windfall around here as you can see one I'm sitting on and I'm going to chop these up and take them home and use them for firewood. I'll, I'll, I'll make another video shortly because this particular wood we're in now is a local wood on the farm, it's only a couple hundred yards from my house and down the other end of the wood I intend to get myself a little area and, and set it up purely for, for bushcrafting type tasks so I'm going to um, get down there uh, perhaps maybe even tomorrow if, uh, if the wife lets me out and um, start building like a little permanent type um, setup for the bushcraft um, activities. Okay, catch you later. I better crack on and catch, uh, do some logs, and I'll bring you back when I've got a bucket full. Cheers for now.